Hey, what's happening, guys? Today we are doing the uh, Sam Raimi Spider-Man 1 audio commentary, finally. Uh, and I'm joined by Forrest. Hi, Forrest. Hi again. Hello, Matthew. Hi. And of course, this audio commentary will be followed by my review of Sam Raimi Spider-Man 1. It took me 12 years to come up with the review, so should be fine. And of course, the audio commentary, someone doesn't really know why. I'm gonna give up the best explanation there. It means that you can watch the movie and you can play our audio commentary and you will watch it together with us. Oh, that's so, such a lame explanation. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're ready to go. One. Let's go. Let's go. The oh, that music. Tide. Yeah, I mean, dang. This is that one track that will never get to Julie. Yeah, mm. uh, do you guys prefer Zimmer over Elfman? Oh, I don't Elfman. know. I would, I would, I would say it's kind of mixed. I say that the Elfman theme that we're listening to right now is iconic, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember more of the Zimmer score. That, that though this thing tops all of the Zimmer stuff, but the individual tracks I can actually more individual from Zimmer. The old Marvel logo, so nice. <laughs> yeah, the thing I remember mainly from um, Elfman score is the. Uh, Yeah, I'm uh, just gonna, while we got the opening titles, gonna, gonna share my experience, my first experience with Spider-Man. I had one major complaint, I was 11 years old back then, and I heard that Spidey is gonna have organic web shooters. And I was like, are you freaking kidding me? No way. I don't know, I was so mad about it, really. Mm. Yeah, I suppose it did change from the comics, but my main complaint was I was about 5 years old, and of course the 12 rating in the UK, I couldn't go and see it. So, I mean, that was a bit of a bummer at the time. Yeah, and, uh, and of course, Spider-Man, uh, you know, Spidey got the ability to shoot the organic web after the other story, but then he got rid of it. And the organic web shooters, as you all know, is, of course, James Cameron's idea, his original script. Oh. David Cope, later on, he rewrote Cameron's script, and uh, funny enough, one of the versions of the script included Dark Ark as well, with Green Goblin together. There were supposed to be two villains. Hmm. And then that would mean less screen, screen time for the Green Goblin. It would be much better to focus on one villain at a time, I suppose. Yeah, and among with Sam Raimi, um, David Fincher was offered uh, the role, uh, I mean, the director's <laughs> position. And he wanted, he, he wanted to, uh, he, don't, he didn't want to do the origin story, but actually start with the night Gwen Stacy died, actually. Hmm. Would have been interesting to see, anyway. But then again, this is the first time Spider-Man's really getting introduced to the big screen. You've got to have his origin story, I suppose. Yeah, 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 yeah. that's true. I mean, yeah, Sony the acquired, only... acquired the rights, I'm sorry for us. <laughs> it's okay, you can talk. <laughs> yeah, Sony acquired the rights like back in the 90s, and uh, in 1999 they finally licensed uh, the uh, rights and they could film, a f well, they could do the Spider-Man film, uh, finally. So thanks to Avi Arad, actually everyone hates Avi Arad, but he did, did play a crucial part in terms of that. Mm. And... People can ha I only hate him because he made Bratz the movie. <laughs> yeah. I suppose that's a valid reason then. <laughs> yeah. Finally, yeah. they actually mentioned Steve Ditko. I, I forgot about that. That's that's nice, right? Yeah. Yes, was so. He doesn't get enough recognition, really. He doesn't get any money from Spider-Man. Even thought he was the one who drew Spider-Man. He really? came up with the design. Yeah, Sam Raimi's idea. Yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, Stan Lee's idea, but Ditko drew the Spider-Man. Yeah, I suppose it is all Stan Lee that gets the law. Then again, it's Stan Lee. I mean, Excelsior. It's just... This story of my life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh no, I already hate it. <laughs> <laughs> Dead girl. Yeah. There she is, Kirsten Dunst. I, I, I'll be honest, guys, I had a crush on Kirsten back in 2002. Hey, I, every, I was like, kid. oh my gosh, she's freaking hot. Yes. And then in yeah. the uh, and then I seen oh that bus driver's a dick. <laughs> oh my see god! I, yeah. I never knew he smirked. I never caught that. <laughs> Knowing Sam Raimi, he could have extended that scene out so long as had him keep stopping and starting every, every now and again, all the way to school. Ah, uh, poor Peter. Yeah. I will say, I think he does fit the original drawing of Peter Parker in issue one a lot more than Andrew Garfield does. I mean, this is the spitting image of Peter Parker. Well, yeah, oh, yeah. Raimi went with the Ditko Spider-Man more sort sort of, you know, the uh, Ditko. He's a huge, he's been, actually, they choose Raimi 
as far as I know, one of the reasons was because he was actually a Spider-Man fan. He grew up with the Spider-Man poster over his bed. <laughs> Oops. Yeah. Then again, I would have rather had Sam Raimi than the James Cameron um, treatment. Hmm. I just don't think James Cameron is kind of right with this other Spider-Man story. His Spider-Man script was a lot darker and... There was a sex scene, by the way, in his yeah. uh, original script. And was it Gwen Stacy or Mary Jane? Uh... I think it was Mary Jane. Yeah, Mary Jane, probably. I don't... Mm. Mm -hmm. I wonder who that could be. <laughs> I'm Spider-Man. Toby is such a nerd. Perfect. Not a hipster type of nerd, you know. Oh, here we go. Willem Dafoe. <laughs> yeah. I'm yeah. sorry, but I don't think anybody is going to talk Willem Dafoe. Chris Cooper, you know, was good in about all what, a minute and a half of screen time he had, but I mean, Willem Dafoe is just the perfect casting. Yeah. By the way, guys, I'm not sure if you know it. Chris Cooper was originally he was offered a role of Norman Osborn back then in 2001, I think. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yep. 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 I read it. I'm pretty sure about it. it's actually true. Yeah. And later on, now he's Norman was born in the new trilogy, uh, franchise. Yeah. The only but reason yeah, William. Sure it's okay, sorry. The only reason why like, William really works for me is because he has that voice that works so well with the Green Goblin. Yeah. Sure, he can get irritated and punny, but it works. Yeah, that is the kind of character the Green Goblin is, though. I think the only thing that is holding back this goblin in this film is the costume at the end of the day. It is a bit silly, but, you know, it was 2002. And Harry Osborn's in Amazing Spider-Man 2 wasn't silly enough? I well, don't know. Yeah. It was, I preferred it to the old, like, Power Rangers costume. And Goblin gets a lot of uh, hate, uh, you know, for all these years during, because of his costume. But actually, William Defoe himself as Norman Osborn was great. Oh, I, I agree with that 100%. Yeah. Mm. He's, he was creepy. He, he was a good Norman, really. Oh, yes. Um, what are your opinions on um, James Franco as Harry Osborn as well, compared to Dean DeHaan? Oh, oh I think yeah. James is much better. I'm sorry. <laughs> well, I think they're very different, Harry Osborn's there, you know, different approach towards character. And by the way, James Franco, once again, he was originally auditioning for the role of Peter Parker. Oh, no, I would not see him as. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's what we got Andrew Garfield, I guess. <laughs> mm -hmm. Similar hair, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, well, look at the jacket. Yeah. Genius I did like this genius. Flash Thompson a lot more as well. It did seem a bit more of a, <laughs> even more of a bully, more of a mindless one, really. I really like the idea of Spidey's combined, uh, Spidey's DNA, DNA combined into one Spider-Man. It did make sense back then. <laughs> now, <laughs> yeah. Really, I had no, never had any problems with the organic web shooters. Why they gave him the organic? I think it was because Sam Raimi didn't buy the concept of um, organic webs. So uh, a high school student building this mechanical device. Yeah, that that's the exact reason. That's the yeah. That's what uh, what what Sam Raimi said actually in one of the interviews. He said that it wasn't very real realistic to thought that Peter could come up with web shooters. You know, but he's a genius after all. Yes, exactly. That's the whole part so... of the character. So, getting bit by a spider and shooting out weapons, I don't know anymore. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, people still complain that it doesn't really make sense for him to have the organic web shooter. He should have you know, built web shooters. But actually, uh, originally Spider-Man, uh, Spidey gave Peter the uh, knowledge of this web webbing formula. The mm -hmm. knowledge itself in the Ditko's uh, comics, you know. He knew mm -hmm. how to make the web after Spider bite him and it didn't make sense as well. What did he do in the Amazing Spider-Man? Did he go on like Oscorp's website and like yeah, he well, got it from Oscorp? That was a little bit lame, really. Mm -hmm. Dramatic strings. That was quite an awkward stare, to be honest. Then again, I did prefer this version of it. It was just by chance that Peter just happened to be b bitten by the spider rather than, you know, the Amazing Spider-Man franchise with the whole Oscorp did it angle. That he was meant to become Spider-Man, essentially, by his father's DNA. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think uh, you guys are uh, watching a little bit. Uh, what scene do you have right now? <laughs> hmm. um, I have the bit where Peter is just staring at MJ looking at the spiders. 
Yeah, yeah. now he's taking the pictures. <laughs> Yeah, he's just walking up and to and click. Yeah. Okay. All right. And now he's like, "Hey, MJ." Yeah, I see oh. many. Yeah, I think I went too far into it. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me when you'll get to the second click. Back to the future. All right. Yeah, you don't need to do anything. I'll wait. And just now he's he about to take pic the first picture. Okay, okay, just say right as he takes the second one. All right. First one. Uh, done. And now the second one. Uh, done. Spidey crawls from the sailing. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I've got director's cut. Ah, that's our reason. Yeah. So this is my pot here. Alright, oh Spidey is colored uh, red and blue, funny enough. No! <laughs> Watch out, PR. Oops! Well, I'm just going to let that spider crawl away. <laughs> yeah. That's what really bothers me, not only Sam Raimi's trilogy, but Spider-Man, you know, origin and comics. He's like, well, f whatever, you know, Spider-Man beat me. I'm just going to walk around. A bite like that, I'd be slightly more concerned than Pierre is. <laughs> and now the display shows us that there's a new species. Like, thanks to the expedition, Raimi. <laughs> The only reason that I kind of wish they, I, I thought like when I was younger, oh, is there going to be spider men? Mm. Because the spider got away. But it was never brought up again, so there we go. This is the glider. I really like the glider design in this film. Yeah. I, I, I. Now we've got the armor, the glider. Who came up with, you know, with the mask? Yeah. I don't really know what purpose it would really serve. I don't exactly see the military coming up with a demonic face like that for their battle armor. I think it was just Osborne himself after he became the goblin. I just remembered my first time going to see this film. Uh, they were offering posters by the entrance and I didn't even have 50 cents to buy one. I was so sad. <laughs> I was like, oh... Um. My mom, she gave me only money for the ticket. I was like really sad at that time, you know. I have so many memories. I mean, this is my childhood right here. It should be all our childhood. Yeah. I think I was only... How old was I in 2002? I think I was only eight. I was about five. I had to make do with the DVD. Absolutely. I don't know how many times I watched it. Hmm. Uh, the guy in the wheelchair, freaking Charles Xavier. Oh yeah. He does look like. Yeah. I'm now an Uncle Ben. Future. Yeah. We. we <laughs> what's going on there for us? I did. I got the theatrical cut. I guess I don't have the director's cut. I wish <laughs> I knew this in advance. All right now, Uncle Ben is doing the. Uh, he's about to be white. Yeah, he's fixing the light. Yeah. 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 Um, one thing I would say about Uncle Ben is I think his death had a lot more weight in the original trilogy. Mm -hmm. It and did seem a yeah. bit rushed in the Amazing Spider-Man one. It still was sad, don't get me wrong, but it did seem a bit, you know. Uh, <laughs> if if we go by the theatrical times, I think the Amazing Spider-Man has Uncle Ben die earlier than mm -hmm. the, just by like four minutes or something too. Yeah. Chris, uh, uh, Cliff Robertson, really great actor, set here. Uh, rest, is yeah, so. rest, mm -hmm. uh, rest in peace. I think I'm gonna cry when he dies. I usually do. <laughs> no. I mean, I mean, really, Toby. They were making fun of his face there when he cries, and I think he did a really great job. I mean, everyone looks weird when he, then they cry, right? Uh -huh. Well. Well, his uncle did get shot. I mean, it's... And yeah, I, I mean, I'm not making fun of it at all. I mean, I know it's a dramatic scene. I agree his face is a bit funny looking, but it's a lot better than other cries we see in Hollywood movies. Yeah. Oh, I definitely. And, uh, and other movies, they just look blankly at the person yeah, well, and then a, a tear tear rose down their face. Mm. That was in Spider-Man 3, too, so... And Toby's Why? about to take off his shirt, and uh, honestly, uh, back, back yeah. then, I thought... Uh, it's all CGI, you know, his muscles, everything there is CGI. I had no idea he actually worked. They filmed this thing where he's skinny guy 
and then they gave him some time and actually the scene where he takes his sh uh, when he wakes up with the, all the muscles it's actually one of the last scenes they filmed they had to give him some time to work out really? oh, good god look at that bite yeah yeah no wonder we tied it from them and now yeah, I did love this scene on. yeah mm -hmm. yeah this scene is so pretty cool oh that sound that <laughs> always gets me something weird is happening Yeah. And there's Oscorp. Cue dramatic music. Ba -ba -da -bum -bum. Thank God he didn't decide to cut his head off and place it in a chamber. <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> I didn't know about that until like... Green Goblin. That's just the one version of the character I just can't stand. I'm gonna say it now. Hmm. I don't want my Green Goblin to be turned into essentially a smaller version of the Hulk. Amy just nailed with the Green Goblin transformation. Yeah, yeah. It was really creepy. Oh, Let's drink it. Well, you could have just put it on the desk, but hey, <laughs> Sure and now he says glass. it's cold. It's actually it's it wasn't in the script. That's what Defoe said. Actually, <laughs> so, yeah, I've read it as well somewhere there. Smoke about do it. Yeah. <laughs> and now he he's about to start break dancing there. Oh yeah, true. I don't understand. I don't think Harry had that much of a reaction to the formula in Spider-Man 3, did he? He sort of just stepped out. No, he just, he just... I, I, we, we didn't really... Uh, we seen only him well, walking out of the chamber, as far as I remember. Mm -hmm. a, a Caesar light show. I <laughs> 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 just played the Electro theme from Spider-Man over the Spider-Man 2 over this. Yeah. That He's fine! But it's it's killing me. <laughs> he whoa, 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 whoa. me. <laughs> Someone needs to make a remix of this. <laughs> Somebody took an LSD. <laughs> he, it's essentially like an anti-drugs ad right here. Mm. Super paranoid. Yeah, the camera slowly zooms in on face. <laughs> There's that face. <laughs> oh, we're just gonna get Dr. Kafka to come in and ask him what he is. I'm the Green Goblin. Fear me. Back to formula. <laughs> that was actually quite, quite a good impression, though. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> and that was probably one of my favorite scenes, really, in this film. I mean, I dreamed. Like waking up with with being buffed up like that. <laughs> <laughs> I really wanted to get beat by a spider at some point uh, without going to the gym. <laughs> Such an inspiring scene what Toby managed to accomplish here really. No CGI and no bullshit, he really worked out. <sighs> That's one of the best things about this. About Toby, you know, Spider Man. He really he wasn't really a Spidey fan as far as I know, um, until he got the role. He wasn't mm. really reading comics or anything there. Well, now he looks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> About the transformation. Back when I was 12, he, he, he seemed to me like a Hulk. Now he's a little bit kind of smaller, skinnier looking. Now replace that with Dennis Leary. Yeah. <laughs> Staring into Toby's soul. <laughs> <laughs> you promised. Yeah. <laughs> what I promised. <laughs> Forrest, you should get out of your DeLorean and go back in time. I think you're watching it. Uh, you're a little bit ahead of us. Yeah, I'm now, now, now he's staring at Mary Jane, right, uh, Matthew? Uh, okay. yeah, so, yes, I'm out of scene as well, yeah. Okay, he's now downstairs, so after doing that cool stair stuff. Oh, he's upstairs. not yet. And now he's doing this Let's stunt. do some better edge on the ball here. There we go. They should make a first-person Spider-Man game. That'd be so cool. Yeah. Uh, that was Shattered Dimensions for the most part. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, the 
FPS views when you're beating down the bosses. Now, Mary Jane scene, one of the most awkward scenes here. It's <laughs> a second that. And I'm missing it. Mary Jane does not have a good time in this film, does she? Mm. Peter Stop. looks like a stalker. He's like following her there. I know. <laughs> Hi, it's not at all. And she's just standing there for no reason. It sounds awkward. Yeah. <laughs> Can someone just Photoshop epic fail over Toby's face at this point? <laughs> for Peter. I'll wait till the stairs done. Just let me know. Now he's following the bus, running towards the bus. It's about to rip it off. Yeah. Oh, we got that far. Yep. Oh, then I'm in the past. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me when we see the Norman Mansion, then. <laughs> All right. In a in a few seconds. What's up with my fingers? Uh, must be nothing. I'll just go to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> what are all right? Norman Osborn's mansion right now. Okay. Osborn's uh, mansion. Okay. Now before I forget again, um, Peter heads downstairs and just basically hangs up from the top of the um, wall and just climbs his feet across the. Mm. I don't know. Hand on the wall, ceiling is where he just runs across and just lands and goes in front of his parents. I did that. Oh shit! But I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I did that, but I, I pretty much it was an oh shit moment. I did fall. It gets on my me head. every time. This <laughs> freaking scene. At least that was not in the theatrical cut. Oh, it's a good thing there was absolutely zero cameras. Camera. There were no cameras around the place. Same goes for Webb's franchise. Actually, Peter sneaked into Spider's room. No cameras there. I know. Heck, in Amazing Spider-Man 2 as well. Yeah. This I'm gonna I'm gonna eat my fr fries here. Oh, fries! I love fries. Oh, Mary Jane is about to. What? Okay, but okay, but I thought I was looking somewhere else. So. Great reflexes. And nobody pay attention to it. Believe me, it's not nearly as bad as the bit with the web in a couple of seconds. Yeah, that's. You know, I've been asked that too as well. <laughs> I, took again, I, did, I did think the Raimi did this scene better than Webb as well. It did seem a bit, you know, of a jerk really in the Amazing Spider-Man. It was more humiliating on this one. It was more just self-defense really. I don't know. I, I don't really want to bring Toby versus Andrew topic, but I really loved the, all the awkwardness, you know, surrounding Toby, the way he was, his face expressions. I mean, I don't know. He's so appealing to me really still after so mm -hmm. many years. I still love both of them equally, let's say. Yeah, equally same. If I say otherwise, I'll get... <laughs> you know what? <laughs> <It's flame. laughs> if only I had a knife! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Oops. I would start running now, Toby. <laughs> Don't You're... mind me, I have a TV tray following me. <laughs> It's like two Wait, weeks later, everyone was like, yeah, remember that guy that's like swinging around the city, saving people's lives? Maybe he was that awkward guy in high school. Yeah. Nah. Sure yeah, he just, got, he just got his 15 minutes of fame. <laughs> yeah. Now the spider sense, brilliant, the way they did it here for the first this time. Is still oh, yeah. amazing to me. Yep. I fly. <laughs> yeah, all the slow motion here. Man, it must have been really hard to actually manage to get spider sense working to actually make it work in film and... Well, Raimi did it perfectly, really. Yeah, I mean, he could have added the cartoon spikes or something. <laughs> yeah. One of the best scenes in this film, really. Yeah. The fight between him. Huh. This is how calm Toby looks through the entire thing. <laughs> how am I doing this? 
I know Kung Fu! <laughs> That's new. Which one? Oh, uh, that is just so cool still. Yeah. Forrest, I hope it's when uh, he, where he is about to punch. Yeah, he just punched him. I'm. Yeah. I hope you. He just punched him on my end. Yeah. So we're somewhat kind of close. Yeah. <laughs> his face. Stop his face. Uh. <laughs> bye. <laughs> How strong is Spider-Man again? <gasps> I'm stronger than like, the Hulk. He's, he's so hot. <laughs> <laughs> I think I they said like he's stronger than the. Hulk. Stronger than the Hulk, the Thing, all of them. I don't know. I read something like that once. <laughs> I don't know. I bet that was the case. They're taking Flash's head off. Hmm. Maybe that's the spider. Something to do with spider. I'm not sure. Oh yeah, it's spider. <laughs> <laughs> Me being an idiot when I was young, I thought those were knives. Oh, yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna creep down by that. I was like, "Does that not hurt?" I was like, "That's not natural." And I, just, maybe, I remember maybe actually looking I at my. See. I remember looking at my thumb too, saying, "Huh, I don't see that." Yeah, just try and crawl, climb a wall as well. This maybe is... I should climb a wall. Mm, that... His face. <laughs> oh yeah, his face at the end of the scene is just timeless. <laughs> 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 And now for the Toy Story Woody effects. <laughs> <laughs> that is one way to put it, I'll say that. It does look That's, exactly like that. That's one reason I want to be part of this, is the effects didn't really hold up in this. Yeah, they aged kind of not so good, really. But back then, really That's amazing. amazing yeah. <laughs> yeah, even though he moves like Woody from Toy Story. Yeah. yeah. And now for this special moment. To swing. Here we go! We are still at Peter Parker. Yeah. Matthew, he's about to shoot the web, right? Yeah, he's, ready. he's getting ready. He's looking uh, at the chain again. Go! Go, web! <laughs> Hello! <Hello>. Up, 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 Just him! Wait. Just him! Go! Go, web! <laughs> go, web, go! <laughs> I, I really, I, I laughed so, so hard there, uh, then. I don't know what, I, I, was, what was he thinking was going to happen when he swung off? <laughs> There's like a building right in front of him. Oh well, at least he's trying. Yeah. Well, there we go. I guess it could be relatable. <laughs> oh, the doves. <laughs> I'm the invisible man, nobody notice me. I'm gonna swing through the whole street and nobody will pay attention. Can someone please add the villain scheme here, please? <laughs> Seems like everyone in the early Marvel movies had a very distinct scream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like Hugh Jackman, Eric Bana. Oh no. <laughs> I actually heard a rumor that I think it was Hugh Jackman was meant to have a cameo as Wolverine in this film. <sighs> the only thing that bothers me about Hugh Jackman, in the Wolverine 1, he had a hair chest, hairy chest, <laughs> and later on the hair disappears in the future, in the upcoming <laughs> What's up with that, Forrest? Explain, please. Hmm? What? <laughs> wait, wait, what was I supposed to explain? <laughs> Uh, Mary Jane's. Yeah, I'm, I, I, he father. just looked at the note and now he's taking yeah. out the trash awkwardly. Yeah. <laughs> and now the conversation scene. Yeah. Yeah, I thought you were trying to explain, like, why does Wolverine have a beer gut? Explain yeah. that for us. <laughs> Once again, the awkwardness of Toby. Wasn't there a YouTube video of like a Spider-Man horror film edited? Yeah, it's Toby McGuire. Yeah, really? I th I think I don't remember who came up with it really. Oh, it was me actually. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Well, that makes this awkward.
Ah, uh, there's really I'm, something about Toby. Really, I don't know. He relate. Spidey is supposed to be relatable. Peter Parker is supposed to be relatable. And this awkwardness when chatting with your, you know, dream girl. That's what really was mm -hmm. such a highlight back then. You know, when I don't know. This is something. I, as I say, I do love Garfield and Maguire equally, but I do think this is something. The awkwardness that Andrew just, you know, is. Yeah, Andrew it was, was, was a little bit just blew out of the water in this scene. Yeah, there's this scene with uh, Andrew, you know, uh, Peter and Gwen in the hallway was kind of, he was like awkward. He, and, and then he was like very sure of himself. He was really cocky there, you know, Peter, Andrew's Peter. Oh, and he skips off the hallway. Yeah. Like, I just got a girl. <laughs> How can I get to second base? <laughs> I know, the whip. I could end horrible, I and that, that music in the background, the love theme. Mm -hmm. I mean, Elfman nailed it. I don't think anyone will surprise him. Mm -hmm. I think in terms of it, what do you think of James Horner's score? Um, I like James's Horner's score. You know, there there's one problem there. Only the basketball scene. Yeah. Uh, that didn't really fit. Same goes for uh, Zimmer's Electros. You know, the scene when Electro uh, appears at, at Times Square and at some point there, this awkward music started playing and didn't really fit the film as well. Oh, yeah. And I think I thought the worst moment was the bit where he was having his little Spider Man shrine and yeah. it had the awkward music. I was like, no, that was just yeah, yeah. not the best. And in <laughs> Sam Raimi's trilogy, I don't really remember Elfman's score playing at inappropriate moments. It, it's always appropriate, you know, it all, all, always fits this uh, the scene. In terms of Horners, there was only two tracks I could really remember. Um, one was the bit where he was um, with Gwen on the rooftop, and the final, what's call it, final swing music. That's really what made me love The Amazing Spider-Man, is that they brought it back, because I was so disappointed that they didn't have it on the third one. Oh yeah, the final swing. And now yeah. Flash with his brand new car, and Peter actually finds tries to find a way to get some cash. Now, what really bugs me about Andrews and you know, Peter Parker, the new franchise, I mean, Aunt May, she's working, she, she's trying to find, you know, another job there, and Andrews Peter does nothing, really. I mean, he, he I, at some point, uh, he contacted Jameson, right, in The Amazing Spider-Man 2. He wanted to sell some photos. Yeah, and that's... Well, Aunt May was taking up nursing classes, wasn't she? Yeah, she had to really pay his uh, studies, his college, everything, and he didn't really give a shit about it. And mm. I don't know. I think I by the end of this film, I'm going to become a hater. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if uh, Steve Ditko had a saying in all of this, or Stanley, mm. like drawing it together. Stanley, um, it was yeah. Just we mentioned it already. It was Steve Ditko, really, and. He doesn't get any money, any recognition, nothing from Spider-Man Spider franchise. You know, there is actually a, there's a documentary in search of Steve Ditko by Jonathan Ross. Uh, just watch it if you haven't seen it, guys. Really, it's it's worth it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's give it a shot. Sponsored by Dr. Pepper. <laughs> I could be ahead. Yeah, you are uh, kind of pretty much. Yeah, uh, product placement. We've got Spidey costume. I've got the spider costume here. Yeah, like same yeah. yeah, I was just there. So. Is it the bike as well? Have you got seven? Yeah, and now he, and now Doctor Pepper. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. I'm just a few seconds ahead. Yeah, I remember having the action figure. I did as well. <laughs> one, the only little action figure I was hunting for for literally years was the Green Goblin from the film. Mm. The which one? So long to get. Just the the standard one with the glider the, from the first film. It was okay. I, I remember having that one. And I lost the mask. <laughs> I'd have like a removable mask. Mm -hmm. Not bad. Oops! Now everything is in webs. Oops, somebody's talking to me. Um, and I'm not sure how I felt about the whole split personality thing. It was good, but you know, to bring out his creepy side, but mm, I don't know. I just prefer it when it was Norman is the Goblin, not Norman Osborn and the Green Goblin. 
Well, I'll point out something that I've always noticed ever since I first watched this movie and uh, with that split personality thing. And by the way, um, are we at the car? Uh, yeah. Ben's going over, yeah. Yeah. Uh, in other words, that's Sam Raimi's car. Huh? Oh. Yeah. He's used it in like five of his films. It's like Toy Story in the pizza truck and all the Pixar films. Really Sam, Sam, Sam will actually have a brief scene soon. You guys, I think, know about it, right? Um, he will be the know. one who will actually throw popcorn at uh, Peter when he goes to the wrestling match. Oh, okay. I didn't know that much. Yep. Um, I only knew about his cameo in the second one. Uh, the second one? Uh, let me remember. I don't remember. Uh, when Peter's picking up all his books and stuff. Oh, uh, yeah, the one... bag. He hit him with yeah. the bag, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah. yeah. Toby didn't know about that at first yeah. either. And then there's so... bloopers reel, and uh, he hits him really bad there. <laughs> it's like, yeah. This is another scene I think done slightly better. It was just, it was so perfect, this scene. It was like just at the corner. I mean, you can change a lot of things, but the line, this line, you can't change, you shouldn't really alter it in any way. With great mm -hmm. power. Little bit. What was it in the, the Amazing Spider-Man? It was like your father lived by like a yeah yeah yeah. yeah. Cool. What did he leave? Responsibility. Mm -hmm. I was like ah, they said it. Ish. Well, the original line is actually with great power. There must also come the greatest. But they changed a little, slightly, a little bit for this scene. Mm -hmm. But they kind of think the main thing is still there. Yeah, of course, yeah. Mm -hmm. And now he, I mean, this scene when he just screams and uh, you know he's like, "You're not my dad." Yeah. yeah, this is kind of hard. Such right? emotional. I mean, I'm, I've got so many emotions. Right. I, last time I've seen uh, Sam Raimi was like four and a half ago, I think. Uh, mm. Yeah. Yeah, I don't yeah, remember. This is my first time watching it in ages. No library for me. Gonna go get some cash. And he's Bozo watching. is ready. Ooh, this combo's yeah. coming up. <laughs> oh, I'll I'll pay attention. Cameras. Pay attention to all these whoosh sound effects. Uh, so, so essentially so trying to say pro wrestling's real. Yeah. True. Crunch. Stereo. Mm. <laughs> Did you say that's one of your favorite villain seven? Yeah. We actually before you join us, uh, we discussed Forrest suggested that he could uh, that there's a theory uh, ben came up with this theory, right? Uh, I think he yeah. he told me, it, so I'm <laughs> saying he did. I mean, he could seriously. I mean, he could be Mysterio, Bruce Campbell. He's <laughs> very 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 charismatic guy there. Yeah. What's your favorite cameo of his on the three films? Probably the um, Spider-Man Three. <laughs> yeah, they extended oh. it. I like this one. I just like the Spider-Man Two because he's just like shh. Just oh, the whole time, like, and I find that... He's a theater shush, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, I'm just saying, like, Bruce Campbell is telling someone to shush. Uh. Huh. That's Ash goddamn Williams there. <laughs> he tells you to be shush, you be shush. Yeah, yeah, baby. The moment I've seen Peter in his, in his homemade costume, I was like, what the hell? Yeah, I remember... And then like, I remember the that he actually had his uh, sort of grey... Uh, Wrestling costume and the black mask. Not, not. It's more. It was more of a sack on his head. Yeah, they had the costume reminds me of the days I used to play the original um, Spider-Man movie game on the Xbox. Oh yeah. my god, the game was so good. Yeah, and you could do wrestling matches in the practice missions. Yeah. What's your name, kid? The human spider. <laughs> That sucks. I really love the guy, random guy that shouts "cage" that's <laughs> coming up. Oh. Wrong movie. No, I'm looking for Sam Raimi. Yeah, no, you will Sam, see. Yeah. He will. He's the guy who throws the popcorn. Yeah, we we won't we won't really we didn't. Well, you see now, right? Oh, uh, there. Ah, uh, you yeah. probably yeah. You have to stop there. Yeah. 
I'm not doing it. I want to stay in sync. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, I forgot all about that poor guy. I'd be slightly terrified if I was Peter at this point. Maybe having second thought. Oh, here we go. I'm still not taking the picture. <laughs> I also like to see this is the first bit of Spider-Man's humor starting to really come out. He's starting to show that in this scene. Yeah, which I always kind of forgot about that he had humor in it too. <laughs> <laughs> it was at this moment Peter realized he was in trouble. And his spidey sense for some reason is turned off. Will be turned off when he will <clears throat> smash him with the chair. Yeah, he's kind of recharging yeah, like, batteries uh, right now. <laughs> even back then, when I was 12, I was like, why? He's, <laughs> everything's supposed well, to go slow motion. Yeah, back to the car. Seeing this with like, my whole family. And my grandmother has this very, oh wait, chair. This very uh, distinct um, laugh of hers. When she first saw the costume, I remember going, ah! <laughs> Throughout the whole theater. No one else laughed. She was like the only one. <laughs> I like the red Nikes, though. Oh no. Oops. So let's finish him. And now, for some unknown reason... Oh no, we or, this thing was already there, right? I love how he just doesn't move out of the way, he just keeps going back in. Yeah, I mean, the <laughs> superhero just punched him in the face and he's still standing. I'm a superhero. I did something. <laughs> you look so happy, even though he's just because yeah. you see eyes. Everybody sees me. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's <laughs> not going to start shooting me. electricity yeah. and start killing everyone in their <laughs> ring at this point. Yeah, this is when he shoots electricity when he gets screwed. <laughs> it's like, you <laughs> to me. Oh, yeah, that said 3,000. You lied to me. You set me up. A hundred bucks. <laughs> The headset plus extra chewing gum. <laughs> oh, I had a free toaster as well. <laughs> <laughs> the toaster scene. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. That was really... I mean, back in 2004, they were still giving free toasters. Yeah, no, right. And they didn't give a crap about the couch, just bought the toaster. <laughs> And that's the sad thing, at the end of Spider-Man 2, you know, Doc Ock died, City saved, but Aunt May never got her toaster. Yeah, you know, that's, that's oh. really disappointing. This is uh, slightly better than what they did in the uh, Amazing Fantasy 15. I mean, Peter was like, he ignored the guy just because he was like, oh, it's not my business really, I'm superstar here, you know, I'm the uh, superstar of the wrestling. And this here, he just took a revenge, which paid him mm -hmm. off really badly there later on. Uh-huh, what was it? We didn't get his chocolate milk in The Amazing Spider-Man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that... In Ultimate Spider-Man, um, it was because he was just felt like he got screwed as well, and yeah. he just saw like this robbery, he went, eh, not my problem. Mm -hmm. And now... Here we go. You got your tissues ready, Seven. Mm. I swear to God, I mean, I will be just silent. <laughs> Oh god, here we go. It's so funny, I've seen this film like... So many times and it's been 12 years and this scene's still... So emotional. Call the ambulance! Took a screenshot for a meme later. <laughs> uh, ah, you... No, I'm not getting it wrong. I mean, he's crying at least better than other actors I've seen in movies. That's the real crying. Yeah, and uh, Spider-Man 3, he just has the sexy cry, as some people like to call it. Oh, yeah. Where it's just him looking all normal and a single teardrop. This one, these are tears. <laughs> Remember, it wasn't that carjacker. It wasn't Marco that killed Uncle Ben. Yeah. Nope, it wasn't. I don't believe it.
I am becoming the human spider. Yeah, this, this scene has absolutely zero. I, I don't take that face as points away at all. This scene is just perfect. I'm getting tired of all these mems using this face, really. Mm -hmm. And now for the kick ass music of Zimmer. Yeah. No, wait, why did I say Zimmer? Elfman. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh no. The Amazing Spider Man 2 Zimmer was such a different Zimmer. I mean, he, this score didn't sound like Zimmer at all. Then again, it was, it was had all the it was a the magnificent six as well. We had their contribution as well. Oh gosh, um, the CGI! I just noticed how bad it is, really. Yeah, like I said, it doesn't really hold up. That Especially much. with the increased brightness, yeah, it, it aged badly. I mean, look at the bright side. At least it wasn't made in the eighties, as James Cameron was wanting to do. I mean, they was going to have Electro in it, apparently. I mean, I don't think that would have really worked with the effects back then, especially. Electro and the. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Two of the most effects-laden supervillains you could have picked, really. It was... I, I really can't imagine how they could do Electro back then, you know, with the CGI would be really bad. I can understand what? maybe Electro, um, you know, with the electricity, but Sandman, oh no, that's a bit too ambitious for your first film. Yeah. Oh, that score. Mm-hmm. The only thing that makes up with this a bit, though that is still cool swinging to me. Once again, oh, yeah. uh, tribute to the... Uh, I mean, when Peter first time swing on the webs, uh, when he was in the warehouse in the Amazing Fantasy 15, and same, they, this is more of a true of a Ditko's once again, Sam Raimi Spider-Man, I have to mention that. Yeah, that scream is kind of weird to me now. I'm just expecting Alexei Smeshevich to come up right now with that drive -in. I'm trying to remember who else was offered the role, I think DiCaprio. Um, for Peter Parker, somebody else. Uh, the kid who is uh, John Connor in Terminator Two. I know oh, that. Oh, Edward Furlong. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I think he did an odd job. Now, would be still better than then, but I don't know. Maybe Leo DiCaprio. I don't know. Mm. He could do an okay job. Guys, I'll be back in like two minutes. Just don't turn off. Let's just let it run, right? Okay. Yeah, sure. uh, now we're in charge. <laughs> <laughs> I'm slightly scared now, just saying, but... <laughs> what are you going to do to me? Oh, God. Yeah. Well, yeah, this is the, I think, the coolest moment in the whole film. Well, one of them, I think. Just because yeah. of the shadow we're about to see. Oh, yeah. That looks so funky to me. Pretty much Spider-Man goes Splinter Cell, essentially. Mm-hmm. I'm expecting like, the three green lights to come up on his head as he's sneaking up yep. on him. The spider yo-yo. <laughs> <laughs> he's behind you. Oh no, small knives! <laughs> oh yeah! I missed that joke. <laughs> it's not like two hit combo. God damn it, taking off the mask again. Yeah. Oh, that, that's, that's just amazing, that. The reveal. Yeah. Death Count 1. <laughs> and plenty more to follow. Then when Amazing Spider-Man 2 comes around, everyone dies. <laughs> Very much. Death tolls goes up quite high in that film. <laughs> Ooh, more doves. Or pigeons, I don't know. Yeah. Well, it could be pigeons for all we know, but... <laughs> yeah, back around here, like, from 95 to, like, 2000 or something, everyone wanted to use doves. I remember seeing them everywhere. Oh, uh, yeah. It was John Woo that loved yeah. to use doves, wasn't but it? Face off is when you are just waiting for the doves to show oh, up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you just wait for Nick Cage just to walk out with his trench coat. Yeah. <laughs> with the doves and stuff come flying out. Yeah. We need to do better. We need to set these doves on fire. 
With like a massive Michael Bay explosion behind them as well. <laughs> directed by Michael. Oh my god, Spider Man directed by Michael Bay. That sounds like an absolute nightmare. Well, I remember reading one joke online like The Dark Knight written by Michael Bay. <laughs> and I really wanted to adapt it. Wow, it's like Batman with like freaking rocket launchers attached to his suit with a jetpack. Well, well he suited up with uh, Back in Black playing. <laughs> and, and basically it ends with I'm back in black. Oh no Lincoln Park with Michael Bay. Ah, <laughs> uh, here we go, Green Goblin time. <laughs> Top pilot indeed. Oh, that laugh is back. Here it goes. <laughs> <laughs> and a transition to graduation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I think you're slightly ahead of me again, actually. I'm just a bit where he's um, taken off. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's just got the green light coming now. And I can actually hear bang. it. <laughs> and there's the hats there. About okay. Yeah, there's the hats. Yeah. Which actually goes to the reason why I don't really like the Spider-Man movies that much, except for the for Maze of Spider-Man to an extent. I like if he's in high school, I, or I feel like it's a little bit more dramatic. Mm -hmm. Like, this oh no, I gotta have, graduation. Yeah, I gotta have a social life, and that's kind of why I prefer the Ultimate comics. That way, he's like, oh, where were you? Uh, I'm guessing one day you'll want the Death of Spider-Man comics to be adapted, won't you? You know, that would be Hi. Seven. Hi. Sorry. You guys. missed the death of the Bids killer. Yeah. No, not Flint. He can't decide where to put his hand. His hand's on his shoulder. And then it cuts again. And then his hand's off from what I can see from that shot. You know, Mary Jane breaks up with Flesh. Which is, uh, you know, I, my one problem with Mary Jane and uh, the way she was. Yeah, she always needs a boyfriend, essentially. Uh, yeah, she was like a little bit, you know... I was about to say that, but I was going to say something kind of... So I decided not to. Yeah, <laughs> so, same, same yeah, here. Yeah, y'all said it better. <laughs> I mean, she had, like, she was dating Flash, then she was dating... Sort of, she kissed Peter, then she, she kissed, she, she kissed Spider-Man, then she, by the end of him she kissed Peter, and then uh, she was dating the... Uh, yeah, that's one problem that's I have when you're recurring <laughs> through the trilogy. Essentially, you know, after Spider-Man 1 and 2 of her getting built up, mm. her developing a relationship with Peter after all this build-up where he reveals his identity to her, and they're going to go out and then Spider-Man 3 is kind of like a, you know, teasing relationship. They keep breaking up. It just mm. didn't seem right after everything they've been through. But then again, once again, this makes um, this Peter Parker more relatable for me at least because I always felt love in, in, with girls, you know, uh, back in the school years. The ones that were <laughs> kind of a little bit slutty, you know. <laughs> they were like, uh, no, I don't know how to explain that really. He doesn't know what girls to go after. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That was my biggest problem. I was really falling in love with the wrong girls mm. there. Yeah. Uh, I can relate. <laughs> yeah. In high school, so. And one, the, there was always a problem. Uh, I liked the girls which were a lot older than me, like in the in the higher grades, you know, somewhere there. Well, if we want to joke around with the Felicia Hardy podcast, it's because they have boobs. <laughs> yeah, back then I didn't really <laughs> care that much about boobs. Oh my god, we're discussing boobs during such a scene. Oh. <laughs> and Atmosphere yeah. dead. Uh, what are your guys' opinion on the two Aunt Mays as well from the two? Hmm? What are your guys' opinions on Aunt May, Rosemary Harris? Yeah, I just want to bring this up. Uh, well, I let Forrest first. Um, I, I, I personally love the Sam Raimi movies for its style and the way it's mm -hmm. made. But I think The Amazing Spider-Man 1 has a bit better origin for the most part. Mm -hmm. I, I'm really not sure. I mean, I like all of them. I just well, don't know which one I would love the best. Sally was more of an ultimate Aunt May, more of such a modern version of her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I, I like Rosemary. 
better. I don't know. She, her speech, if you guys will join me uh, some days later during Spider-Man 2, right? Yeah, yeah The sure. uh, speech, um, the back ra backyard speech was... <laughs> I mean, when I feel re really that I need to watch something that inspires me, I always watch this uh, scene with her speech. I mean, it's such an inspiring scene. But then again, it was more of a dialogue. She had a, very, a better dialogue than Sally Field, I think. Uh, yeah. more, more inspiring stuff there. It's not about the acting. That's not um, what I'm trying to say, that she's better yeah. in terms of acting. It's more of a dialogue. Yeah. Also, um, where are we right now? Uh, um, just of him saving people and they're talking about what they think he is, really. Yep. Okay, when we get a close-up of his lens, look carefully. I'm also asking the people watching this, too. Uh, there's a blooper, right? Uh, uh, not really a blooper, but kind of a mess-up. Yep. Uh, is camera reflecting there or something? Yeah, it shows a reflection on his lens. Oh. Um, I think I knew about this. I think, I'm not sure if you guys heard about this before, but you know how this is so... It's, it's sort of just appears in this film, with this montage. Yeah, well, no, this starts. is what I'm getting at. Yeah, have you ever heard of the like the nine eleven trailer, the one that had him um, essentially he caught the thieves in between the World Trade Center? Look at the lenses. Did you lenses see it? The lens? No, not, not yet. It's not almost yet. there. Yeah. That girl is weird. Yeah. Look at the lens very carefully. Oh yeah, it's just playing like the Spider Man theme on the guitar just now. Yeah, just a second. Um... That should have closed the film. <laughs> Yeah, there, I see uh, it. Yeah. Yeah, that oh, yeah, should have been the big review. Oh, here we go, J.K. Simmons. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm in such an iconic role. And uh, yeah. uh, the guy actually expressed his interest in... I'm I'm an interview where he said he would like to reprise his role. In, I mean, uh, why not? Is that you're, it's J.K. Simmons. He wants to come back, Mark Webb. Make it happen. <laughs> yeah, there's only one. wants it. He wants it. You know, let's just make it happen. Oh, I want it too, but there's only one other actor that I can actually see being our, uh, a Jameson. Brian Cranston, right? No, not Brian Cranston. Oh. No, Brian, Brian Cranston's too serious, I think. Um, R. Lee Ermey. In other words, the guy who was the um, drill instructor in Full Metal Jacket. And Sarge from Toy Story. Mm. He's the uh, only see. other person. Let's see, yeah. Yeah. Gary. <laughs> <laughs> it's like... Peter. <laughs> I think maybe the reason why they haven't introduced Jameson yet is because, as you know, how the Amazing Spider-Man franchise is trying to take, you know how this film, you know, it does still have its serious moments, but it is a much more light-hearted tone, really, to the whole thing. Yeah. Well, the Amazing Spider-Man is taking itself a bit more seriously, and I think they're kind of trying to, they don't think Jameson would... I mean, I asked Mark tone. Webb about, about Jameson, right, the question, and he actually... He actually mentioned that J.K. is actually very iconic, and he would like to perhaps. To... Do you guys oh, yeah, think it's it... Q&A, wasn't it? Yeah. Do you guys actually think it's possible to see J.K. Simmons? I would love J.K. back. I would love. I expect, I would love to see Andrew Garfield just, like interact. That's the one thing is Andrew Garfield reacting with Jameson. And and I mean, actors reprising their roles in different incarnations isn't something very original. Uh, Judy Dench from James Bond franchise, she mm -hmm. played M for. a... Uh, in the uh, with Pierce Brosnan and now, now she's M with Daniel Craig, James Bond. Uh, so yeah. why not? Yeah. Even yeah. thought, even thought there's one problem. They're trying to stay away from as far as possible by bringing Jameson there or J.K. Simmons. It might actually cause some hate there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it would be worth it. You know, the payoff and eventually because you know it's. I don't think anyone would be complaining of J.K. Simmons. Well, not, but possibly we would because, oh, he was in the Raimi films, but yeah, I, I think the general know, consensus would be positive. I don't know anyone who actually complained about J.K. Simmons. I think everyone oh, yeah. loved him, really. Oh, I love him all the time. I mean, he's very inspirational with his laugh. Oh, you get the Spider-Man 2 laugh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That is, just, <laughs> that is just one of the greatest cinematic laughs just mm -hmm. <laughs> ever. It's just amazing. You're serious? The only love that surprised him is probably uh, Mark Hamill's Jacker. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I just love that so much because after it, he just comes back to his same self and just says, You're serious? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's just other little touches, isn't it? Awkward moment number three. <laughs> yeah. And you plenty got more to seven. I love these awkward moments with Toby. I love Toby. <laughs> I, I keep <laughs> and jokes about him, and yet still, I uh, he's so such a great Peter. What what are you laughing about? 
<laughs> uh, I think I could be ahead again, but see, I don't don't tell Harry. Yeah, we're we're, we're there, right, Matthew? Um, yeah, it's just the it's just panning up to his apartment now. Yeah, I think yep, yep, I've, I've yeah, I paused. I figured, but I love it. It's like don't tell Harry. Yeah, he's just says it so quietly. <laughs> and this Norman just being Norman in the corner. I got to do my busy work. <laughs> Sorry, Donald Mankins on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot that Harry had glasses in the scene. Now she resembles was... Andrew even more. <laughs> yeah. I guess this is when they tried saying, like, okay, Harry, you're Peter. So, how about Harry's working on the algorithm, the decay rate algorithm from the first Amazing Spider Man? It's probably where his worker doesn't get it right. Mm -hmm. I would have liked to see the lizard in this franchise. It would have been pretty cool. I feel bad for the actor, I don't remember his name, who actually portrayed Dr. Connors. Yeah. He was like, ah, I'm about to be the lizard. You know, <laughs> there's the fourth film coming out. They announced, no, sorry. Guys. And cancelled. Yeah. Apparently, Raimi was eventually going to do the Sinister Six, but I don't know. I think, you know, the fact that they, Raimi loves to kill off all his villains. Well, as, much as, I, yeah, as much as I wanted Spider Man 4 to happen, uh, once I find out the script, the vulture and vultures and oh, everything yeah. there, it sounds really horrible. Uh, actually, just to say, I think Anne Hathaway did say in later years she wasn't going to become the Vulture, she would have become Black Cat in the end. Which is funny, hmm. because she played actually Catwoman later on. I know, right? It's going yeah. yeah. yeah, to... Yeah, it all worked out. Word. Whack. Let's earn some cash. Ah, that camera on the webbing reminds me so much of the... Uh, he was doing that all the time in the uh, 1994 animated series. I'll be back in one second. Alright. Okay. Not CGI Spidey punching the robber. Yeah. And pose it for the camera. Cheese. Crap, crap, crap. No, and no, not yet. No, wait. Uh, crap. Yeah. Ah, yeah. such a great JJ. Yeah, it would be funny if in Amazing Spider-Man 3, if he returns, it's just like, are these photoshopped? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Love that, love that transition of Toby, too. It's like, hey, uh, <laughs> my photo, Spider-Man a menace? <laughs> uh, interesting enough, they went with the road with... Uh, Mark Webb's franchise, where Peter actually works on the, uh, well, he sends the uh, photos through email, of, you know, he works, Daily Bugle is uh, more of a website there, sort of, you know, we've got the viral campaign as well, that's the ultimate, actually, Daily Bugle, he worked yeah. on the website there, so, once again, oh, I, yeah. Really, I thought the web design thing was just a joke. No, not the, actually the web design, but the, uh, Peter worked on the Daily Bugle's website in the Ultimate yeah. Comics. Oh, I knew that much, but I was like thinking, is that just a joke in yeah. the movie? Because I knew it, he worked in the Ultimate Comics mm -hmm. as the web designer. The moment uh, we've seen the response from Jameson, the Amazing Spider-Man 2, like, wrong, I instantly yeah. thought of J.K. Simmons. Who else would... I well, mean, I know. that's probably why they did it, because yeah, that's yeah. the iconic one. You're out, Norman. Yeah, yeah. He just freaks out. This is something I can relate to in any set I've worked yeah. at. Uh, you, you, you can relate to Norman, really? <laughs> no, it's just like, you're out, Forrest. We don't need you anymore. <laughs> Do you even know who you're talking to? <laughs> but you are an actor for hire, so... Somewhat, yeah. yeah. <laughs> actor, uh, person who works on set, stuff like that. Actually, come on. Yeah, I was like a second AC yesterday, and I lost my voice. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I'm wanting to go into acting after leaving school. And here we go. You know how much I've sacrificed. <laughs> <laughs> At least I know I'm on sync now. Subtlety. Then again, that's just wrong before being wrong before. It's so good. I'm half expecting to see Felicia Hardy just sitting typing away down the table at this moment. <laughs> now everyone works for Felicia. Because everybody works for me. <laughs> Dramatic teacup. <laughs> uh, that should become like a new meme. <laughs> right 
Am I? I'm gonna yeah, kill yeah, you yeah, all yeah, now. Yeah. <laughs> song. <laughs> I don't know what's uh, the name of it. I don't know anything, but I really oh my, love it. Look at the people dancing in the background. Sam Raimi was, uh, I'm sorry, Stanley was supposed to have a cameo during this scene. He does, actually, a very short does one. He but originally, he was supposed to be selling glasses. Yeah, and, yeah, and, yeah, I remember that. It was in the bloopers. Like, yeah, hey, yeah, can yeah. you some sunglasses? Oh, you can put them in the X-Men, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's yeah. unfortunate. Yeah, the X-Men, he just stared awkwardly at the camera. Hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I wonder why they cut this part. Um, perhaps something to do with X-Men. Owned by Fox at that time. Well, now as well. Mm -hmm. And now it's finding a home with the mouse. But, uh, you know, we were mentioning that they couldn't mention X-Men here, right? And in mm -hmm. the uh, trailer for Spider-Man 1, um, when Aunt May in his hospital, and she tells Peter, you're not Superman, you know? And yeah. Then, of course, in this version, in the original, in the final version, she tells him, you're not a super he superhero, you know? Mm -hmm. So they mentioned Superman there. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Spider-Man goes home with some... MJ is like, no, I'm, I'm not up to kissing on the first date. I'm like, I'm not dating a couple of guys at the same time. Spider-Man 2, she mentions she threw out his comics. Mm. She probably like, burnt all his DC ones or something. They no, did some Marvel. crossovers back in the 90s. Spider-Man and Batman, there were some crossovers between Marvel and DC. But now the... Um, oh, competition is way too high for them to mention... Oh, I. Oh, the spider sense. Here we oh. go, Goblin. <laughs> well, that's just weird. <laughs> Would you look at that? He said, and everyone, and everyone, everyone was like, oh, that's, that's, a sh that's part of the show, right? I just <laughs> oh, yeah. noticed that there was a singular story. Yeah. Man, now I, this feels outdated. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, gl a glider. Everyone's Hello, like, oh, everyone. That's cool. Yeah. Everyone's not freaking out at the fact that this glider is years ahead of its time, really. And Toby's like, Check me out, is ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> For your entertainment today, I'll be doing some backflips. <laughs> it's Max, isn't it? <laughs> I can actually hear the Jaws theme playing as he's coming towards them. <laughs> can you see me? <laughs> Bang. <laughs> Hi, Harry. <laughs> uh, that's what bothers me. He bombs his own son. <laughs> oh yeah, you take away hope. Now I'm gonna take away yours. Grabs MJ and flies off, Kaplan. Oh, well, there he is. Stanley. Yeah. Yeah, there he is. <laughs> that's it. Bye. Web, go, web, go. Web, go. <laughs> Shazam. <laughs> See, if I had five pounds for every time Mary Jane screams in this scene, I'd be a millionaire. Uh, we have to mention something very sad there. During this scene, they filmed this on stage 28 pictures and they built the balcony and uh, there was accident, actually an accident. A worker got killed. Really? Yeah, a crane uh, crashed on him and uh, I think uh, Sony had to pay like uh, like $55,000 um, uh, to his family. It was really a very huge controversy there. That in the Twilight Zone movie. Yeah. The Twilight Zone, uh, the helicopter scene. Oh yeah, someone yeah. got decapitated, didn't they? Yeah. 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 Universal. And, 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 and stupid kid, kid out there. Let's just stand there, right? I know Ooh. anybody else would be like, oh no, no, he's just in shock. It's like, no, he's a stupid kid. He just wants to die. Yeah. Oh, you didn't let me die. <laughs> I have a depressed life. My mom didn't give me a PlayStation. <laughs> I surrender. That's I awesome. surrender. Yeah, that no, no. Three hit combo. Four, five, six. Counter attack. <laughs> From a monster kill. <laughs> Stop like oh, light bars no. up in the top part of the skate. But you get at this point. Such a bad CGI, Jesus. It's bad, but I can enjoy it. That's what's funny about it. I've seen The Matrix last week and it aged badly as well. Yeah. <laughs> Your next mission, jump on the <laughs> balloons. Like Woody from Toy Story. Yeah. <laughs> I'll have to get the Mario jumping noise at this point. Point? Like, the Mario noises. <laughs> <laughs> Smash. Right. Combo breaker! 
Look at all the like, cartoon sound effects. <laughs> like, that's that's what I get at. The sound effects are very corny in this, and I like it for that reason. It's like a comic book. Now, <laughs> <laughs> web in my eyes. Curses have been filed again. I mean, why now Peter is about to jump there and grab Kirsten. Why couldn't he do it, uh, Spider-Man, uh, with Gwen? Yeah. Did he have to shut the web, really? Shoot the web? Check Sorry. out, he just saved you over there. Spider-Man showing you how Andrew Hammett's done. Yeah. Oops, we're done. We. Oh. There's the music again, <laughs> as we've seen it on 7. <laughs> That's kind of why I like this score too, and with the James Horner one. The choir is very common for the most part. <laughs> uh, MJ's luckiest girl there. Mmm, what's the perfume? Smells good. So they're now landing on the uh, suite? Yeah, about okay. to. Okay. Uh, they just landed. No, not yet. Mm, no. When he puts the hand up to the couple. There. Oh. There. Uh, mm, your voice sounds suspiciously like my neighbor. Wait. Like it's a board, eh? Fuck you, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> He's so great, I love him. Run on that building. I'm sorry, Harry. I've got another boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile. <laughs> He seems alright for someone who just got concussed. Mm -hmm. uh, money can't buy love. Apparently not. It was so cheesy. Toby's like, ha ha ha. Don't put your shoes on the chair. <laughs> um, if I have to think about, you know, um, Franco when he was playing the Goblin compared to Dehan, it was kind of. I think De Fra Franco was closer to the comics. In fact, times you know, it was he only became the Goblin out of anger. Really, it was more just like an angry Green Goblin. While the Dehan was more like you know what Norman Osborn was really, and more of the cackling insane one. <clears throat> Dehan was like. Uh alcoholic there. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they kind of, you know, in the comics, uh, Harvey was a drag addict. He got, uh, uh, I mean, he took drugs. Yeah. And, and now, uh, and now he's an alcoholic. Yeah. And now we have the split personality. Yeah. <laughs> Unless if I'm ahead again. Well, that's better than a tentacle stalking to you and telling you what to do. <laughs> <laughs> Go oh, rob a bank. Uh, but my okay. wife died. Rob a bank. Yeah, I'm gonna probably kill this scene for a lot of people that probably really love this scene <laughs> and don't really pay attention to it that much. When we get to the mirror, William Defoe to the right, not the mirror. Hmm. Forrest is a type of guy who actually notice notices all the movie mistakes, right? Yeah, well, no, I'm just a guy who makes movies, and I <laughs> kind of grew up watching yeah. all these and trying to be better. All right, now, so look, when Norman comes onto the frame at the right, look at his jaw. <laughs> I'm serious. All right, I'm serious. Please. You're going to see it move. See? Unless if it's a split personality thing, I think it should be talking and not him. Oh, that's I, don't I don't think it's a really a movie mistake. It's okay. I've been always thought I thought it would be a mistake. I think it's kind of. It's not like it's just in his mind if he actually physically moves and then suddenly comes back into Norman. Oh no, I don't want to do it, and then switches back to Green Goblin. Really. Yeah. Well, this is what made me think. Like, um, maybe it was just him talking. Uh, yeah, I'll go by y'all. I'm gonna pick it again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> one thing, I, one thing I would say though is it does seem like you know of a bit of a hasty transformation. Like before, when you know Norman Osborn, before he actually turned into the Goblin, he was a threatening, you know, Harry, and he was a demanding, threatening person. But the minute he turns into the Goblin, Norman Osborn basically becomes a little frightened bird, mm -hmm. in the presence of the Goblin. That is so cool. 
This laugh, I love it. Mm. Yeah. Hopefully you go there, uh, Josh. <laughs> That's Norman. That's the way I see him. Yeah. Can't wait to see Chris Cooper's actually Norman. Uh, there was just a brief scene. It's probably uh, going to be a monster version, like yeah, no the ultimate. Like, oh, yeah. Sad face, but you know I'll see it. I'll wait till I see it before I comment. As long as it sounds good and he has a good laugh, I'll actually kind of feel better about it. Hmm. Because that's something about Dahan. He had a kind of a creepy laugh when he first showed up. I was like, oh. Oh, yeah. I trust my partner. I love this bit so much. I love everything with JK. Yeah. So, Oops. I just love the, the insults that the goblin has. He calls him Slime, I think it was. He called him Slime. Oh, yeah. <laughs> cool, man. man. That's Who amazing. takes the photos of Spino? Why don't you just look on the na new paper, newspaper? There's supposed to be a name of the photographer. Yeah. Ah, they use the, the same motivation for Norman uh, for Dark Ark later on in the second film. You know who takes the pictures of. <laughs> Sweet. Sweet. I'm telling you to do something. Venom didn't have that. Does Venom have the same memories as Spider Man since he had the suit? I don't know, because people say, like, how you know, like, apparently in the comics, did he know who Peter Parker was because of the suit, because he, it was with Spider Man. Yeah. Mm. The symbiote has a memory, actually. And oh, it does can, it? Yeah. And it can actually morph into clothes, you know, your t shirt. And, uh, as well, uh, if it's black, you know, it can morph uh, mimic clothes and everything and stuff. This moment kills the Green Goblin for me, by the way. I mean, sure, it's a threat and so on, but we're about to see some body movement from the Goblin oh. that seems like they're at a water cooler together. Oh, is it a shoulder and, like, leans yeah, against just the leans side? Up. Yeah, he's like, hey, Spider-Man, you hear about the office space? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Spider-Man, are you going to pick up the new Spider-Man game from Boonox? Yeah, that's pretty good. See? I think I could be ahead, but still... Yeah, there. Oh, I... There we go. Yeah, that just bothers me so much. It's just, I mean, it's funny. It's something the Joker would do. I know it would. But they're like acting like they're at a water cooler. And he saw, he's like hitting his arm like, hey, hey, you get it? You get it? So what do you think, son? About? About how the Green Goblin's body language here. Uh, Goblin's what? Body, body language, language, the way he's just like slapping them on the shoulder and all that. Just a second, guys. I've got the phone. So oh. me. I'll okay. be back in here. Well, hopefully he watches this on a playback and gets it. <laughs> if I was the goblin, you know, I wouldn't have actually. You know what? I, I would have probably gone and threw a few bombs, you know, blown up a few buildings in order to get Spider Man's attention. Yeah. Well, all he did was crash the Daily Bugle. Yeah. I, I managed to sneak to them. <laughs> like, making absolutely no noise. Just been hiding outside the window for a little while. Yeah, isn't that the last we've seen of J.K. Simmons in this whole movie? Is it? I think it is. I could be wrong. I mean, I'm watching the theatrical right, I, version. I, I, sorry, I'm back, guys. Okay, no problem. I'm a busy man. <laughs> oh, oh, wow, okay. So, uh, Matthew, what, what were we going to ask me? Um, it was about the Green Goblin's body language, the way that when he was um, talking to Spider-Man. As uh, Forrest said, it kind of he thought it kind of killed the scene. The fact that he was like, it was like a water cooler slapping him on the it shoulder. It was something from the Power Rangers TV series, honestly. <laughs> kind of reminds me of the Joker a bit, but it doesn't really work Not with least, this yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Join me or die, Spider-Man. It's like uh, in Arkham City, it's like <laughs> Batman's in a wheelchair, all strapped <laughs> up together, and the Joker just lays on him like a little kid, like on his knees, saying, I spread chaos all over Gotham. <laughs> it's not like that, it's like he gets on the phone in Arkham City as well, it's like some voicemail. <laughs> oh yeah, the voicemail thing too, yeah. I think Yeah, I'd like to eat the burger as well now. Let's go bowling. Awkward moment number four. Yeah. You got like a little counter there, Seven. Ding! Yeah, but we just. I think J.K. Simmons is dead. He's went to a I'm trying to remember if that's like the last we see of Jonah. 
thinking about, I think that is actually. No, no, he will be right now on the newspaper, the picture of him, that's about it. No, we already got there. I've got the scene with MJ. Oh, yeah, that's scene, yeah, right, correct. Mm. Oh, the shame on me. Yeah, she's off to the alley. Oh, this is that. Been, this is the kiss scene, isn't it? That's the uh, boob scene. Oh, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the rape scene. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the famous, th the famous nipple scene. <laughs> Do we need to censor this video? <laughs> no. Oh wait, no, no, no one's no, gonna no. see it. People that are like. Why Spider isn't wearing a mask? You know, I, I'm, I, I don't have problems with this scene at all. I think it's a great scene, really. Yeah. Uh, these crooks are thought that they're very, I you know, the type of noises noises they make. <laughs> like, <Yeah. laughs> this was nominated for an Oscar. Yeah. For best sound design. And also, the kiss was MTV's choice for the best kiss in a movie. Did they take the mic out of that in Tropic Thunder? Uh, like for that, the trailer where Rob Downey Jr. and Tobey Maguire is like in one of the best kiss awards, MTV's best <laughs> kiss awards. Yeah, I keep remi uh, thinking of Jack Jack Black's parody. Yeah, I was just about to say that. Yoda. It's like, and once again, I mean the score, right? It's so uh, great. Yeah, like yeah. Gwen's theme in the Amazing Spider-Man Two. I'm gonna call it that. Too loud, too obnoxious, in my opinion, mm. for it's just a, her theme. It's like da 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 da. I've heard that countless times from Zimmer, so it doesn't bother me either. <laughs> Are you guys having problems with the fact that MJ should have uh, recognized his Peter's oh, voice? Yes. You know what I was half expecting MJ to do is to start kissing him and then just whip his mask off when he's least expecting it. Mm. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's also. Else yeah, that's also still been a complaint with other Spider-Man media, where he just talks natural, like. Yeah. Yeah, like uh, the Neil Patrick Harris Spider-Man. I give him credit because he has his Peter Parker voice, but then when he's Spider-Man, he changes it up a bit. Mm -hmm. I think he's the only real one who's ever done it too, with Josh Keaton doing it a few. Mm-hmm. That's the great scene. <laughs> and now Such more I iconic kiss. Okay, thanks, bye. Zoom. I mean, Peter's and, and Gwen's kiss on the rooftop was kind of interesting. The way he grabbed her, uh, shoot the web, and um, Spencer. Yeah, yeah. Second still, face. Yeah, still not not as great as this one. Oh, this is I don't love this scene, the goblin. <laughs> it's you who's out got me. Out of, out of mind. mind. Kirsten Dunst took the mick out of that on the, didn't she? On the casting. Yeah, commentary. she made fun of it. She made it fun on the commentary. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> it's my baby. What have you got for me today in New York? And in Jack Black's parody, he was like, the pass. Smash. What's up with webbing? I just noticed the, the horrible CGI once again. Hmm. Really, I'm complaining about CGI 12 years later. That's cheap. Well, you're saying like it's not as good as The Matrix because it didn't hold up compared to it. As I've mentioned, it, it, Spider-Man moves like he's Woody from Toy Story. <laughs> yeah, especially during the Times Square scene, the way he moved like very... Uh, not, uh, I don't know the proper word for it. Woody from Toy Story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm taking you in for saving an innocent baby. Such a na naive cops. Yeah, we'll I know. wait for you. Yeah, sure. I'm getting now. a bit bored of that, you know, whole everybody hates the superhero sort of thing in comic book films, really. And here we go. Smash. Oh! <laughs> This this scene, honestly, when I first saw this for the first time, I jumped out of my goddamn seat. <laughs> and it, I was like that, six at times. So I was like, yeah, I, that scene just so scares me. Oh, it's gonna be okay, man. That scream thought, yeah. That is Evil Dead. I'm sorry, but that is just Evil Dead coming through there. 
Yeah, you know, that's sad. how I like Sam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, you know, the scene was a symbiote, um, symbiote on, in, in Peter's bedroom in Spider-Man 3 was kind of scary, creepy as well. Definitely Sam Raimi there. Uh huh. Oh, there we go. Wrong answer. I did like the line in Spider-Man 3 where he goes, "I hate those things." Yeah. Now some that's inspiration from Matrix. Yeah. Dodge the bullets, Neo. Yeah, that was kind of the whole hit at the time, wasn't it? Yeah. A little bullet dodging. Great scene. You are... Ouch. That's not going to come back later. And I love that <laughs> zoom. That quick... That, that's, uh, yeah, that's a lot better than uh, a villain realizing that... Uh, finding out that he's uh, Peter Parker by grabbing his camera and just looking back on, on the camera's back. I mean, Thor is just simultaneously facepalm right now. The lizard, yeah, the way he discovered that Spider-Man is Peter Parker was just ridiculous. And Peter, yeah. Peter placing his name there on his camera was plain stupid. Yeah, the snap zoom that they had earlier with Spider-Man, that is definitely Raimi. Mm -hmm. And that's something I overuse, too. <laughs> <laughs> Never noticed that line either. <laughs> Sorry, I was parking the glider. Oh, not the cranberry sauce. I hope he remembers the eggs. <laughs> I really love this scene. Oh, yeah. That means gotta have an eggs. Mm. Nope. Dude, that was fast. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love this that moment. Now, before any of you guys probably say, well, why won't they look up? Don't worry. I have a valid excuse that no one really looks up anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently, in my apartment, there's a leak from upstairs, the people above me. I went to use the restroom, and I felt like water drip on my head. I looked up finally. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> I have a giant leak. So, yeah, it's no one's first instinct to ever look up anymore. So... Normal. For people that say that's a cliche, yeah, it's second half of life. <laughs> who spilled the ketchup? Uh, who spilled the cranberry sauce? <laughs> Work was murder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love that. <laughs> I really love the way Norman discovered his Spider-Man, actually, once again, have to bring this up. Mm -hmm. Awkward moment number five. But with Norman? That stays... Norman? You... <laughs> Threatening finger lick. It's time for you to realize Norman Osborn is in a partnership with KFC. It's finger licking good. It is <laughs> subliminal messaging. Yeah, I love those it. horrible yellow eyes. That thing he was just doing with the, the thing he was just doing with the knife. I remember doing that at Thanksgiving after <laughs> I saw this movie, and I got yelled at like crazy. <laughs> Peter is but real. Norman Osborn did it. Does that make it good? And it's like yes, <laughs> sticking goblin. I like being the Norman. What's that? Peter is really bad at excuses. Hmm. Plot twist and actually Spider Man. All right. I forgot the cranberry sauce. <laughs> it's not enough cranberry sauce, so gotta get some more. The turkey tastes like poop. <laughs> and now MJ will f he deserves. Oh, I agree with you there. I love this scene. <laughs> Oh, 
Did, what happened to Harry's mother? Did she die in childbirth? Uh, yes. Mm. Oh. Okay. I think. I don't really recall. I'm only familiar with what happened to her in the Ultimate Comics, and that's really it. What happened to her in Ultimate Comics? Uh, Norman killed her. Mm. Really? Yeah, he just, like, turned into the beast-looking goblin or the whole kind of Set the whole mansion on fire, and she died with it. Huh. I know that um, Norman killed Harry in the Ultimate Comics when he turned into the Hobgoblin. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. I actually have that issue right here. That's kind of weird. Yeah, I've got, <laughs> got it as well. Just and actually, in the 616, like, Harry, at some point, he became the good guy. He actually saved Peter. <clears throat> when when he, was uh, he was first, like, the Hobgoblin, all he was asking was Peter to kill him. Yeah, I mean, the 616, the main universe. Harry eventually became the hero. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is funny. Oh, yeah, he's talking to a piece of plastic mask in a chair. <laughs> I had this prop, too. I mean, I had this toy, too. <laughs> when Norman sits on it, the goblin speaks. <laughs> First, we attack his heart. We attack his heart. First, we'll take him to KFC. Notice the subliminal <laughs> His heart won't stand a chance. This scared me when I was young. <laughs> we need Spider-Man's blood. This is actually, I know this is meant to be quite intimidating, but this is like one of these scenes that does kind of kill it when he makes her finish the prayer. Mm -hmm. No! Oh! Peter is experimenting in his room again. <laughs> yeah, but that thing does kind of scare me a bit. Yeah. I know the finish shit kind of ruins it, but. <laughs> what is it? Is this like a fly off after that? Okay, thanks. Bye, I scared you. Oh, did you just see Spider Man's feet? <laughs> Good God, throw at me. What did they do to Venom? <laughs> Slam. Well, that was a quick. He realized it pretty quick. Yeah. Oh, yellow eyes? Oh, sure, it's Goblin. Because there's nobody else with yellow eyes. <laughs> I'm just mentally running through all the Spider Man villains trying to think who has yellow eyes. Um. <laughs> the Beetle. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> You're not a Superman, you know? Yeah. You're not Batman. I'm Batman. I'm Spider-Man. Go to sleep, honey. And that photo, hmm, that's such a... I can't watch it anymore. Beep, beep. <laughs> <laughs> the end. I always went really dark. So I'm about to go. Oh god. The ha electricity's run out. Go and get electro together. CPR. Hmm. Work in Spider Man 2. It'll work now. Okay, this is about to get very awkward. I'll be back in three minutes, right, guys? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> well, we have our six awkward moment. <laughs> Still keep my count. Ah, I lost count. <laughs> we even have an old lady watching on her deathbed. I know, what, what could have you been saying to her when she was like, oh, I bet. Yeah, anything. she wakes up and says, you couple are stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Just go out already. Just tell her you're Spider-Man. Wait, how do you know I'm Spider-Man? <laughs> Any normal person with a fully functioning brain could figure out you're Spider-Man, dear. That's why I said you were Superman. <laughs> At least he's a real hero. Every Spider-Man fan now officially hates me. <laughs> hey, I mean, I've been trying to ruin everyone's childhood. Yeah, I'm joking. Time. Anybody watching this, Spider-Man is and will always be my favorite hero, right? I'm just going to put that out there right now. And my method is, if I haven't ruined your childhood yet, I am going to find a way. <laughs> Uh, well, if you're doing the Spider-Man 2 podcast, you'll just destroy the widely considered yeah. the best Spider-Man film ever. So. Yeah, well, no, that's actually my favorite, too, and I will find a way to ruin it. Because the arms. Is the arms. There are no perfect films. Uh, they aren't perfect. I mean, I can't say, like, oh, they're the best films of all time. 
And um, like one example is like, I, I know I'm jumping the gun here, but the Doc Ock scene when he first uses the arms, it's amazing. Oh, yeah. And, and then right after it, no! Nah, it essentially turns into Darth Vader. Yeah, that, that oh, kills it. And no, there's, but just to, end, to wind it back, the, the clock's back a little bit. The, the most efficient scene with the arms is probably the bit where he, the arms start killing the doctors. There's virtually no music. That's Evil Dead once again. Yeah, that's my favorite scene too. I know. It's just where they just it's no music. It's just oh, it's like a horror film at that, at that point. Yeah, and my favorite thing is to a lot of people, how many doctors died in that scene? <laughs> is that much? I, horribly. Is like that that yeah. one doctor dragging with her nails coming off? She's getting like dragged under the bed. <laughs> Yeah, I think it was eight, but I could be wrong. So just we're gonna watch this movie back again. Oh, those couples. <laughs> just bring back Emma Stone. <laughs> yeah, that's another wing thing too. Kristen Dunst is a blonde who dyed her head her red to be in a Spider-Man film. <laughs> Emma Stone is a redhead who dyed her hair blonde to be in a Spider-Man film. So coincidence. Yeah. Your hand's so cold. <laughs> How long have you been 17? A while. And no, I'm not going to associate Twilight with a goddamn Spider-Man movie. <sighs> Speaking of which, who do you want to be in the third Amazing Spider-Man as the villain? Mm. Yeah, the villain was kind of weak. I mean, it started to get interesting, but it didn't pay off. Yeah, like, I mean, like, I would, and in the third Amazing Spider-Man, I want Goblin to come back. Um, Rhino will be back. Um, I'd like to see Craven or yeah, Craven would be the best. I think. Yeah, I'm so debating. Is it going to be Chameleon or Mysterio who's going to be the mask villain that got to? Be oh seen? yeah, it was an end credit scene, wasn't it? Now to be brutally honest with that, right? I think it's Chameleon. I don't. I honestly don't. I don't really see Chameleon doing that much damage as part of the Sinister Six, really. Is Chameleon oh, yeah. that good a fighter? Um, he's Craven's brother. <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> All right, I'm back. Hi. Hey, Hello. So, what yeah. did I miss? Uh, we, well, the very, we very saw awkward scene. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we saw Rosemary Harris smile at the awkwardness. <laughs> <laughs> Dink, awkward moment number six. <laughs> Dang it, you took my job. I already said it. <laughs> yeah. Harry, I told you she's a bitch. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> <laughs> see, see, um, I lost my train of thought. Um, right there, you saw like have the sexy cry. He didn't get that emotional. He just went. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. You wanna try some goblin serum, son? <laughs> it's good for the brain. If they she would said, scare mm -hmm. three, two, one. She's, she said Superman in my version. Hmm. She said Superman? Yeah, in my version, she just said it. Oh, she's about to say it in ours. I thought it was only for the trailer. Hold on, let me listen again. Hold on. I don't care. I mean, I may be. A... Hold on. You do too much. Mm hmm. She says Superman. She said, yeah, she said Superman and mine as well. Just a second, I will. I haven't seen. You any. don't. You don't need a playback. I think you may. You may need to keep yours on sync. No, I'm still. I haven't got to this part yet. Oh. Then we all got screwed. You were about six years old when MJ's family moved to our place. That's what she says now. Just see when she says grabbed. Oh man, is that an angel? Yeah, yeah, I've yeah. got that bit now. Yeah. Harry's in love with your so does Flash and uh, so um, Spider Man. Everyone is in, is in love with her. <laughs> and May is in love with her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Plot twist. Norman is in love with her. Turns out Doc Ock will fall in love as well. Yeah. You don't know what happened when that brought house. And all of his tentacles are in love with him. Yeah, I was about to get that. <laughs> yeah. Well, he's like trying to punch his tentacles away when he's going in for or something. I don't know. Everybody else knows. Oh shit, you're right on me. I'm gonna call MJ now. 
What was Goblin what is sitting with his feet up on the desk with the phone ready to answer this or something? <laughs> I love this part. So many think. <laughs> <laughs> Where is she? <laughs> oh, it just goes Batman on his ass. <laughs> <laughs> Rachel! Oh god. Night. Oh, that was a hangover. Oh, this happens to me all the time. I black out and wake up on the bridge. Where am I? Oh, sh oh crap. Oh, I don't rem awkward. remember getting here. I don't think I'm supposed to be here. I think <laughs> a blonde is supposed to be here. <laughs> a yeah, species. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's interesting. <laughs> Let me Good thing she ducked at that moment. Song. Oh, I should have got decapitated by the collider. Let me sing my favorite song. Yeah. I thought it's Electro's favorite song. Mm -hmm. It's a red spider. What the fuck? Down came the goblin and took the spider out. I don't know. Did you guys cringe in the Amazing Spider Man 2 and Electro did that? And the, the, the I, was oh, get yeah, it. Yeah. I was like, why? No. <laughs> now, we are about to see the people of New York City helping Spidey, which is, I think, a lot better than what we've seen in the Amazing Spider Man 1 with the whole thing with cranes. I'm probably the only one who didn't like this scene. The crane scene. I am super strong. <laughs> I am Superman. Go away. <laughs> Sajam! <laughs> Wait, that's DC. <laughs> yeah. I love this scene, the choice scene, you know, he had he have to decide. Only fools are heroes. <laughs> I just love some of the writing in this film. Yeah, it's very comic booky. Oh, that's what makes it good actually, you know, it doesn't have to be like Shakespearean it's, it's like taking just out of a comic book. Save us! Let her go! Save us! Roosevelt, that has to belong to Richard Parker. <laughs> oh! They were never mentioned in the same franchise, were they? Yeah. Gwen! See ya, kids! <laughs> I know, I'll save neither of them. Dying in this trilogy. MJ is always in danger. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> this may make it awkward moment number seven. <laughs> you can see the blood running out of Spider-Man's ear right now. Problem with the scene, the fact that you know it was kind of replicating the Gwen Stacy death scene really on the bridge, mm. in a way. But yeah, it kind of pays tribute. That's why it doesn't bother me. Yeah. As long as Mary Jane didn't die, I think we were okay. Yeah. Kind of. I mean, I, I wouldn't have liked it if she died the same way as Gwen Stacy in the comics. That would have been silly. That CG was terrible right there. <laughs> Matrix. If I'd be Goblin, I'd just shoot him. <laughs> Why punching him? Web gun. <laughs> Slow mo. 
Villagers oh. never seem to kill the hero when they have the chance to. They never take the safe option. <laughs> Jeez. Well, the way she grabbed, uh, definitely something unrealistic there. Oh yeah, her arms mm -hmm. have been like ripped off. <laughs> that yeah, was yeah, yeah. Really. I say I do like this scene with the goblin attack. It is very tense. So getting back to crane scene, do you guys prefer this scene over the crane scene with people, people of New York City basically helping Spidey? Huh. I, really I don't know. know. I like them both equally. You can speak first, first. Yeah. For I, us, I really don't know. Both were kind of silly, come out of nowhere, and really have to do with post 9/11 mainly. Oh, I. Yeah, I really hate to say something like that, but it's kind of true. It is, yeah. Let's go to a different location, shall we? <laughs> Mission accomplished. Next level. <laughs> this wasn't in the video game. <laughs> Let's go to the clock tower. <laughs> we. This scene is the reason the film originally was supposed to be PG-12. Uh-huh. But considering that Spidey's auditory is mostly kids, they changed it. Oh, I love this scene, the explosion. They nail it. I just love how just how raw this scene is. Literally just goblin beating the absolute crap out of Spidey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very dark. I would really like. Yeah, it was rated PG-13 in the states. So yeah. Yeah. I think back in the day, back in the UK, there was no such thing as a 12A where you could go to see it with a parent. So if you weren't 12, that means you're officially not allowed to go and see it. So I was yeah, like, In the States, and I could be incredibly wrong with this, Gremlins 2 was the reason we got PG-13 Raiden. Really? Yeah. Funny to think about such a dark scene came out before Nolan. Really? <laughs> so somebody else did the darkness, the grittiness uh, before. Mm -hmm. I mean, at this well, point, they... Spidey was on top of the things. It was like the, f the most successful uh, film out there. The crit critics praised it, you know, except for Roger Ebert. He gave it, I think, two and a five point stars out of five stars. Yeah, he said it didn't look that good. He but said he did the uh, love uh, uh, Spider-Man 2. He really oh, yeah, he said it was, at the time, he said it was the best superhero film he'd ever seen. Mm. I mean, yeah. this is what's weird about him, too. He liked Daredevil more than this. <laughs> well, well, yeah, that's... Blasphemy. On top of things, before anything there, before Dark Knight, before Avengers. Yeah, it was X Men and Spider Man that kind of started the resurgence of superhero films. Didn't I it? think it was actually Spider Man, not as much X Men, really. Oh, yes, yeah, Spider Man dominated at the box. It made about yeah. 800 million, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, 840, I think. The, the Jeez, damn. Hell of a time. What was he implying there? I, I really I don't, <laughs> I'm, I hope that's not what I thought it was. That ah, was kind of cartoonish. I am, am alive. alive. I crush you. <laughs> I told you I kill you. <laughs> oh, I'm like... Rhino. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, but Paul Giamatti was like a fucking pirate. And like the Amazing Spider-Man 2 was just Well, yeah, crazy. as I mentioned you know, previously, they complained about the cheesiness, but once again, Rhino is kind of cheesy. He's supposed to be cheesy. And yeah. that's Paul Giamatti yeah. back in 2000s. That's how I know him. Everyone complained about him. True, he's become more of a tamed actor. I think he just was on his medication during Spider-Man 2. <laughs> <laughs> and this scene was done perfectly from the comics as well. I love this scene. Yeah. The glider penetrating him as well. If Goblin has to die in the Amazing Spider-Man franchise, I want to go on my like Gob glider as well. I actually think they should have both Goblins. I don't. Well, I'm not sure if they should do that or not. They hand glider and then Norman Osborn monstrous ultimate version. Yeah. But again, that would be fighting for screen time as well, so that would be difficult for character development purposes. You know, the more, more I see, the more I realize how much it's actually influenced by the comics. Mm -hmm. So much stuff here. I didn't really notice that, that much you know, years ago, like 12 years ago. Because mm -hmm. people say that, you know, the Amazing Spider-Man, oh, I know it's more faithful to comics, but they have some really 
yeah. faithful moments in the Sam Raimi like this scene mm. the scene makes me cringe I just wince every single time God shakes by my hand God I love how he just says always oh, knows he's screwed yeah. oh. <laughs> fatality <laughs> As I've edited later on, guys, don't post spoilers. If you've seen it on Facebook, nope. I don't think you have. Don't hmm? tell. Oh, uh, yeah. Spoilers for the yeah, show. Sure. Don't tell everybody. Oh. Don't tell everybody. Don't worry, I'll be back as a mirror. <laughs> I'll I be am back. the most terrifying villain ever. <laughs> <laughs> the mash is sitting there. Like, what do you mean, don't post spoilers? Like, about this? No, no, I, I, I made a video with the same scene with voiceover Norman. He says, don't tell Harry, and I said, don't uh, post spoilers. Oh, uh, oh, oh. Man, okay, yeah, I thought yeah. you were telling us not to post spoilers no, no, about no, this no. audio commentary. <laughs> okay. <laughs> spoilers, everyone, Peter Parker, Spider-Man. Ooh. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Where's my gun? But yeah, don't worry, everyone. And that's actually one of my biggest complaints with this whole trilogy. Why can't you just tell Harry the truth? I know, I know it's going to honor yeah. Orban's wish, but you know, it was just two words, like, you know, not, not just two words, but a few words, see, I didn't do it. You know, it's, he killed himself. Plus, you could see Peter's face there in the darkness. If he, he would come closer, maybe Harry would see that it's Peter actually. Mm hmm. He had. Or, you know, kind of like jumped conclusions, you know, he's bringing back the bodies. Oh, God, you killed him. It's kind of. I, mean, yeah, I mean, he need to blame someone. Not Spider-Man, right? Mm -hmm. And I really feel feel bad uh, for Harry during this scene for some reason. He's like, I'm no, I have, I have nobody. If honest, to be honest to God, I, you know, if I was directing Spider-Man three, I wouldn't actually give him the costume he did for the Green Goblin two. Mm. I would actually have him in Norman's old costume. But we gotta be hip and new. Oh yeah. And sell yeah. more toys. Yeah, when uh, when uh, when uh, William Defoe uh, casted him as Goblin, uh, they offered him a much bulkier sort of version of the costume, and he said, "No way, I need something more athletic." So he kind of played a role in terms of a costume. And then there was organic uh, Goblin you probably seen in the test. Oh mm -hmm. yeah. More, the uh, the mask. Yeah, the monstrous looking Goblin. Yeah, that is. That's the hat as well. Sort of, re not really. I don't think it would work. Yeah, but it was pretty cool looking. Well, yeah, that's pretty scary there. Oh, I think Peter, they realized... Peter, I haven't kissed anyone in years. Would you kiss me, please? Let's kiss... <laughs> Brave. Yeah. Yeah, that never... <laughs> I, I never noticed that, actually. <laughs> Good point. Spider-Man. It's like, are you guys fan, fans of Game of Thrones? Um, uh, no, no, I'd like to get into it. It's oh, all these yeah. other things I want to watch. But uh, really I, have time. I wanted to mention something, but all right. Oh, you can. Uh, I mean, I, I probably won't get it, but your audience Next would. Bed. Don't mind. You're lying. <laughs> she realized that the kiss is very similar to her kiss with Spider Man, yet she doesn't real uh, recognize his voice. Uh, all right, I'm, that's my childhood. I won't ruin it. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's I, I, all right. I, I mean, I want to see flaws, but then I, I don't want to see flaws. I mean, uh, that's really that's a part of my childhood, part of myself. You know, I I grew up. I wanted to be like Spider-Man. I wanted to be like Tabby. Really, <laughs> can oh, you imagine? Yeah. I was like, uh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, everyone. Up oh, here comes kiss. Um, everyone wanted the Spider-Man web shooters that they were promoting with this. I just stood, uh, Spider-Man. Yeah. Triple so, Web Blaster. Yeah, that, and you know what the funny thing is, I actually bought one too the other day. <laughs> I because I well, yeah. It's fine, Triple X Web Blaster. Yeah, I, I actually bought like the newest version of it just because <laughs> it's so addicting. That and the Hulk Smash Gloves. Oh, those things were amazing. I had those as well. Mm. I tried to make my own web shooters. <laughs> How'd it go? Using a sprinch and something else there didn't work really. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I'm a genius. I'm Spider-Man. Yeah, why not? Yeah. Spider-Man. And then we find out this, is that Mary Jane says, I really want to see Spider-Woman. What? He sounds like a girl. 
still a mystery for me 12 years later on why Peter dislines her really I mean why not really mm -hmm. I really think they weren't really thinking they were going to get a sequel or something I'm pretty you think yeah they left as a standalone film really and then just a sequel there mm -hmm. But it became so popular in the box office, so they were like, oh, yeah. let's make a sequel. And then the second film love for what it was, and then they thought, well, let's try the third one. Made its mm -hmm. box office, just wasn't received that well. Oh, yeah, the third one was the highest grossing, wasn't it? No, mm -hmm. it, uh, oh, was it? Oh, yeah, it was, yeah. It had to be. Yeah, nine, 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 nine thousand, nine hundred thousand. Yeah, at the I time, think I think it was the highest grossing superhero film. Close to a billion, eh? Uh, mm -hmm. Then the Dark Knight came in and said, "Hey, we can reach a billion. Let's yeah, just have uh, our actor die." <laughs> oh, Heath Ledger, he's yeah. amazing. Yeah. Oh, well, let's forget about that. Let's have a wing. I think this is probably my second favorite final swing. Mm. After the oh. Spider-Man 2, right? Actually, um, it was Amazing Spider-Man. <laughs> no, oh. <laughs> yeah. Now, I've, oh yeah, post 9/11, right here. Yeah. Oh yeah, the massive American flag, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah, that's yeah. Uh, yeah. And the, the choir is just so epic. Such a perfect ending. And the score, I mean. And that was Spider Man. Yeah, that was fantastic. I wish I, I don't know, seen so many times and still it amazes me. So, what do you rate it? Because you want to do a review of it. <laughs> yeah, well, I will do a review right after our call, I think, because I still have. Even, you know, I haven't seen it for two years, a year and a half. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's indeed. great. That's great. I mean, that's our childhood. I mean, my childhood, and I think uh, Forrest's childhood. But Matthew, you're a little bit uh, younger than us, right? Yeah, you're, I'm you're, 16. Yeah, you're five. That could five still be his back. childhood. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah well, now, it was quite sad, and I couldn't see it. I remember going, uh, leaving this cinema there. And I was like jumping uh, on my way home. I was like jumping, running like Spidey, like crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And as we get, we see the second AC, which I am currently on set. Huh. <laughs> and you what's, worked, uh, what's your project right now? Uh, it's just a short film, basically. It's not. I'm not even involved. I'm just a guy who comes in and just does the camera work. Oh, I'm not nice. the. Ca I'm not the camera operator. That's. Like the person above me, yeah, like yeah. here it goes. It's like director of photography, camera operator, first AC, second AC. Second and, AC is uh, the second assistant camera, and what I do, I'm the clapboard. So you've got to look at storyboards as well. Yeah. So uh, that's interesting. Perhaps you should on the Amazing Spider-Man three. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be spoiler. Yeah, that just, would be just cool send me some I'm... storyboards there. Yeah, that would be cool if I'm able to work on. Ah, uh, Nickelback's hero. I mean, that's the. I love this song so much. It's so, it's right, so yeah. overused. It's overused, hilarious. right? Yeah, but back then, I mean, I still mm -hmm, think uh, the post -credit, the credit song in the Amazing Spider-Man 2, you know, Kendrick Lamar, whatever. I don't think it fits that well a Spider-Man film than than this one. Yeah, it does seem a bit like you know when Mark Webb said he wanted to use it's on again, and he said he wanted something like a bit more upbeat. It was, I don't know, after Gwen dying, it was, you know, a bit too happy, a bit too upbeat. Yeah. I could see something like Signal Fire from Snow Patrol. Mm. I could see that playing in the background. And Train Ordinary was great as well. Oh, aye. And Vindicated by yeah. Dashboard Confession as well. That was a great song. All right, guys. Seen the amazing Spider. <laughs> I wanted to say the amazing Spider-Man too. Yeah. <laughs> uh, That's what we talked about the most. Yeah, I'm gonna come up with the review. Thank you for joining me. Yeah, Everyone so there, hope you enjoyed our commentary there. Stay tuned for Spider-Man 2 and then Spider-Man 3, which should be fun. Yeah, if you uh, want to give your final thoughts on the whole film. Yeah, final yeah, thoughts. Like, I, yeah. You'll have yours, but I, I, you go ahead first, I guess. Well, I, 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 yeah. I, 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 I got to think of what to say first. Matthew, 
Any final uh, thoughts? You were five then. Do you remember your first time seeing it? Actually, first time seeing it, I was at, was on DVD. My dad finally got the DVD. I was absolutely blown away by this film. This was this my favorite film until Spider Man Two came out, and it still, for the most part, holds up very well to this day. They, you know, the CGI is a bit dated, but the form is excellent. The emotion is drawn. It's just a very, very innocent. So pure in its intentions, you know, for what it's trying to be, and it still holds up very well. I'd say still a very, very good film to watch. Mm. Forrest, you've heard me. I always like criticize how the effects look and so on, but the story is still fun. I mean, I still have issues with it here and there, but it's. But I'm not saying it's a bad film. I'm just saying I really enjoy it still. It's. I. The only thing it is is like I like making fun of it now because it's just um, 12 years old now. Yeah. Yeah. So, and that's something I always like to do, is find something to make fun of it with. Yeah. I mean, I still think the costume still looks amazing, like Green Goblin, but eh, it still <laughs> looks good. Yeah, well, I think it will be tough for me to come up with the review. The reason is because, you know, it's tough to make a review of something that is actually part of your childhood. I can't see all the yes, fluffs, you know. Just, uh, the fact mm -hmm. that it's my childhood covers my real thoughts, you know, my real thoughts. Perhaps I... If I wouldn't see it when being, you know, 12 years old, I would see more flaws in it, more negative things. But I, I don't think if my review will be fair enough, really. Hopefully. Yeah, I just think it's an overall fun film, and overall even fun, though yeah. it may yeah, be part of childhood, it's, it's a blast. Yeah, like yeah. Amazing Spider-Man 2, it's fun, but issues because it just makes you cringe at some of the issues, not just because it's it's how it's written. This film, I don't remember really cringing that much. It's just like fun Sam Raimi movie, and boy, those were short credits. Yeah. Oh yeah, and so you know, somebody yesterday mentioned in the comment section. I kind of agree with him. He said, "Look, very simple thing there. Sam Raimi's Spider-Man, they had it, it had its soul, sort of like you know, a movie soul. It yeah, that's a good. No, it's like I don't okay. know how to explain it really. So you good can form. say it's more of a simple story, really. Yeah, it's it's more sort more of it feels it, it feels like more like a home, you know, home place. It's like mm -hmm. he, he mentioned." American Cheeseburger, it feels like a home place, you know, Spider-Man, <laughs> Sam Raimi's. Well, The Amazing Spider-Man 2 feels like going to a club, you know, or something there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, well, the music is kind of obvious with the... Uh, Super Tano, Super Tano. Yeah, especially the... Well, that were... He lied to me. All right, going to come up with the review now. And thanks for joining for us, Matthew. No problem. Thank you. No problem. <laughs> okay. Yeah.